All right, so I'm gonna show you the quickest way to generate Selenium tests. You can see here we have an empty folder with no tests in it. And I'm gonna start by installing Playwright test for VS Code. Yeah, that's right. I told you the fastest way to create a Selenium test is by installing Playwright on Visual Studio. So that now that we have that installed, let's go up here really quick to the command palette, install Playwright. Uh, I'm just gonna install Chrome because that's all we need for this um, example that we're doing here. And once NPM finishes installing, I'll continue back with you guys. Okay, now that NPM's finished installing, all we have to do here is go up to our test examples, go to our tests, and here, I mean, obviously you can see that um, this is running these Playwright tests, it's kicking up a browser, it's running the test, and then I'm just gonna close it there. So that runs in 1.5 seconds, and that's cool, but now I can go down here to new record and see if it can start up a test for us. Okay, so it's starting up a test recording. So we're just gonna go to toysrus.com. I don't know why it's still a website, but apparently it is a thing. So we're just gonna click on shop by age, three, four years old, action figure playset, and then come down here, click on Batman, and then come click on this other Batman image here. And then we can just click on close and then close this window. And you can see all these steps got generated here for a playwright, which is really cool, but we said we want a Selenium test. Let's just run this quickly right here, make sure it all runs and works. And there's some weirdness here because you actually have to hover here for this to work, but then the rest of the test works. We're not gonna worry about that for this case. It'll probably work the same way in Selenium. So what we're gonna do is just close out of that, grab all this text with Control A, copy it over to ChatGPT and build a Selenium test. So all we're gonna do here is ask ChatGPT to take our Playwright.js code and turn it into a Selenium C Sharp test. You can create Java or whatever else you want. And I just, again, grabbed all that import Playwright and this other test stuff. So we're just going to click go there and let it start spitting out the code for us. So here we can see it grabs our usings. We have web driver, we have our setup. Here's what our test method looks like. And once we have that test method, then we have our teardown. So basically all we have to do now is go into Visual Studio, create a project and copy and paste this in. And we have a test. And we can see here that it takes our auto-generated tests and actually adds in by ID, by XPath, by link text. And it's good enough that we can clean this up and do whatever we need to to continue making our tests. So hopefully you find that helpful. Um, personally, I think this is the fastest way to make a Selenium test. Yes, I know you can just come in here and write out your tests. I don't know. This just seems a whole lot faster than going around through my page and looking for selectors and trying to figure out what to do. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments because I don't know of a quicker way to do this with some kind of Selenium UI.